Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ribbon from BullionNow.com.au, bringing you all the good stuff from everywhere, right here in Melbourne, Australia. That's it. We've got a big lumen box. We do. With not many coins <laughs> in it. <laughs> it's a big box, not many coins in it because there's some pretty big coins. Yeah. So I'm a little apprehensive with this box on so many levels. You're going to delve into them? Yeah, we are going to delve into them. All right. So this is a raw mint box, so right. our regular viewers will know why I'm apprehensive initially, but I'm also apprehensive because, as Ruben intimated, there's not a lot of coins in here. There's uh, These are the very limited allocation that we got for the Kilo Britannia. Yes. Now, this is the Queen Elizabeth Kilo Britannia, I believe. Yes, I'm, I'm we'll going to say it when we open. I was going to say I, I'm going to say probably the more sought after because um, this is the this is the first time they did a, a kilo Brit was with Her Majesty, um, and that's it. So it's kind of the, the first of type, the last uh, coin uh, with her of this type, and as well as we'll get to in a second, it has a very high face value. It does. So before anyone pauses here and races off to the website, you will not see these on the website. Okay, we, uh, we'll explain the whole process, but because we've got such a limited number and they are so incredibly popular, we're going to have to do an expression of interest on this one. So stand by for details further on, but let's have a look at the coin first because my usual criticisms of the Royal Mint um, are not, in this coin, certainly, um, are not founded. This is actually in really good condition. We got one side. Let's uh, we'll have to yeah, flip over. There's and no see. real milk spotting in there that I can see. The capsule's in good condition. We will inspect all of them. <laughs> we, we will. <laughs> but this is um, this is pretty good. The um, absolutely love some of the security features and stuff the Britannia normally, but then to have it blown up on a on a bigger yeah. branch. And if you flip it back over there, you'll yeah. see there's the. Um, the, the trident and the lock that kind of shift around as you move it. Yeah. Uh, we've got the wavy lines in the background there. And yeah, it, it really does show up Look, real nice on the larger planchet. Despite, despite all the criticisms I, le I lay at the Royal Mint's feet, you cannot criticise them for their, um, their security details. They are second to none with the number that they've got on there. Am I allowed um, to compare it to a totally unnamed yeah. other mint in the world that just uh, files off one of the reeded edges? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Yeah. They, go, they go a bit further than, than uh, said other not named mint. Yeah, oh, the Yanks need to pull their finger out a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can see there, it's, um, they're a beautiful coin. And as Reuben intimated, you can see there, 500, 500 pounds, pounds, which in Australian dollars, roughly... Getting close to a thousand bucks. Yeah, possibly a little bit over, I think, at the moment, isn't it? I'm not 100% sure I'll probably flash that up on the screen. Yeah. Um, but it really wasn't that long ago that that is above where, what spot price for silver was on a kilo. Yeah, that's right. And when you consider that the Australian, you know, Lunar Rabbit or the, the Kookaburra or the Koala have a face value of $30, 30 <laughs> yeah. for a kilo of silver, it's, um, it's pretty amazing that they've done a, um, a face value quite that high. That's the coin itself. Comes in this beautiful little foam square um, with... A foam lid. A little sleeve on top. Um, with the, yep, slides over the top and then comes in these little boxes. All right, now the challenging part. We've only got a limited number, as I keep saying, um, a very limited number. So we're going to sell these by expression of interest. So there will be a link down below um, to fill in a form that uh, expresses your interest in it. It's not locking you into it, but you will be offered the first, you know, if, if you're one of the lucky 25, let's say, that get selected. Um, they'll be offered to you first, and then if you say no, we'll, we'll keep working our way down the food chain until um, we're all sold out. As far as pricing goes, um, if you click when you click on the Monday form or on the link below, um, it will actually give you an approximation of pricing, and we'll flash it across the screen now. Now, just bear in mind this is an approximation. So, if spot price doubles overnight or anything along those sort of things. Yes, the price that you're eventually going to pay is going to change. But if you take the price that's flashed across the screen um, and look at what the approximate spot is right now, um, and if you look at the difference between those two, even if spot doubles, it's going to be somewhere around about that difference sort of thing. It's more just to throw it, you know, that's it. Bit of a comparison. You know, it's, you, we aren't talking a buyback kilo here. It is a bit of a different kettle of fish. It absolutely um, is. It's, it's not going to be, you know, two or three grand. 
um, unless spot really starts going up. Um, but it will be dearer than, as Ruben said, you know, a standard Perth Mint or a, a buyback kilo, something along those sort of lines. That's it. But definitely one to get, definitely a very limited um, number of them in the world and certainly a very limited number in Australia. Um, I think you're looking at the whole box of them at the moment. So, uh, yeah, there's not many around. Do you see them continuing um, the Kilo Brit on with um, King Charles? I think they... Because I, I, I think they actually have put out one already, but do you think it'll be a, a consistent, um, you know, yearly I, release kind of thing? I or? think it will be a consistent yearly release for now. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously if the popularity drops off, they'll move away from it. But I think, I think they recognise they're on a winner here yeah. and they'll keep it as part of their repertoire for as long as it's supported. Yep, that makes sense. All right, well, I think that's it. So yeah, check out the link below with uh, some more details and we will see you in the next video. Sounds good. See ya.